Channel 9's Adelaide Sports Journal, Tom Wren, sat down with Jared Polek, who spoke for the first time since joining North Melbourne. He spoke about his excitement of joining that club, but the bittersweet feeling of leaving Port Adelaide. Here he is, all thanks to Carlton Zero. Well, Jared, congratulations. Uh, off to North Melbourne. Must have been a bit stressful. I, I guess you're glad it's just all over. Yeah, definitely. Um, I'm really looking forward to the opportunity at North Melbourne now and um, we can move on with our lives and start looking forward towards the future. It was a bit of a bumpy process getting there. Is it more relief when something like that gets done? Just talk us through it. Yeah, definitely. It's, uh, it's definitely a relief. It's um, built up of excitement as well. Um, start, get to start somewhere new again and um, learn a whole new system, a whole new game plan and um, get to learn more about myself at another club. And talk us through Brad Scott and just North Melbourne's pitch to you. Obviously, a really exciting list. I think they probably um, overachieved in most people's opinions this year. Talk us through just their list and, and how good you think it could be with some of the additions they've got now. Yeah, there's definitely upside. They had a strong year and talking to Brad last year wasn't um, unknown to them. They knew what they were, they were, how close they were and how far they were going to push. And, um, with the few extra added additions, um, with Hall, Tyson and Pittard, um, we'll get a bit of extra flair and a bit of extra run and I think there'll be a lot more creativity in North Melbourne next year. Was it disappointing in the end not to be able to stay with the power? How were those emotions for you? Yeah, I guess it was a bit disappointing. Um, I, I've always been a fan of Port Adelaide since, since I was a little kid. Uh, I grew up in Adelaide barracking for him. Um, so, yeah, it was a dream come true, playing for Port. But, yeah, unfortunately, um, a new opportunity arise and I had to take it. And, and I'm massively excited to play for North Melbourne. Talk us about Ken Hinckley, uh, the coach. You obviously had a great relationship when you came to the power. How did he take it and how is the relationship now? Yeah, he understood my decision. Um, we both knew where, where it was heading to, um, and, yeah, ended up that way. And, um, look, our relationship's still strong. We still speak and um, we're catching up after our honeymoon um, for lunch and, yeah, there's definitely no bad blood between us. Do you think in hindsight maybe the, the strategy was a little bit off with, with the recruiting and how they went about it? I don't think the recruiting was off. I just think that um, we played to a certain structure that didn't quite work for our side. Um, we, we, tried, we tried going a new way. Um, trying to see the game a bit differently. Um, it didn't quite work. Things did work to that structure, but um, yeah, there's definitely changes will be made at that club and they will be better off for it. And North has been criticised in the past as a club for not landing, I suppose, big name players. But like you said, Dom Tyson, yourself, uh, Aaron Hall, Jasper Pittard, they've landed a few big fish. Um, what was it um, that Brad Scott and the team pitched to you that made you think this is... This is where I want to call home. It is so similar to Port Adelaide in a way. Um, they're the smaller club of the city, um, but their list is so like so strong. And um, even with the players that they haven't been able to land in the past, um, they've always found a way to um, push that to the side and always seem to be able to push for a final spot. Well, Jared, good luck. A bright future for you. You've just been married. You've just had your birthday. Enjoy the honeymoon and good luck for 2019. Thank you very much.